Here is an application of the beta distribution. Batting 400 has occurred 13 times between the years 1900 and 1941 and has never happened again after those years. Now there may be some explanations having to do with changes in the rules, changes in the strike zone, etc. But this has always been a curiosity to me that, that you had so many uh, 400 hitters between 1900 and 1941 and it's been so long since we've had one again. So the way I formulated this problem is find the parameters of the beta distribution so that the population mean will be 260 and the population standard deviation will be 0.04. When you use these parameters for alpha and beta, what is the probability that a batting average will exceed 400? So to begin with, the population mean for a beta random variable is alpha over alpha plus beta. And since the problem requests that the population mean be 260, we set this equal to 260. Second of all, what is the standard deviation of a beta random variable? Well, the variance is alpha times beta. This is from the uh, previous page, divided by alpha plus beta squared times alpha plus beta plus 1. Well, if that is the population variance, then the square root of that will be the population standard deviation, and we set that equal to 0 0.04 to match this. Now, what we have here is two equations, two unknowns, and I won't take you through the algebra, but alpha turns out to be 31.005 and beta turns out to be 88.245. When you take those two parameter values and draw the probability density function for the beta distribution, you get this distribution right here. Notice that it is centered around 0.26 as requested and its standard deviation is 0.04 and that seems reasonable as well has sort of a, a non-symmetric bell shape to it. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to find the probability that a batting average exceeds 400. If you look at this there is going to be a very very tiny probability out here of exceeding 400 and that will be calculated as the probability that a beta random variable x with those parameters right there exceeds 0.4. That is calculated in R with the statement 1 minus P beta. You remember P beta will give you the CDF but we don't want the area to the left, we want the area to the right of 0.4 and then you put in your two parameters alpha and they go into R in the same order that we have them here 88.245 and when you send that to R you get approximately 0 0.0006077 so this tiny probability out there in the right hand tail is approximately 6 in 10,000 not very likely that you will get uh, somebody to uh, bat 400 but who knows maybe this will happen someday soon